Hey everyone, how's it going? Shuffles back here again with another video, and we are going to do another unit spotlight tonight. We're going to look at the best Fallen Cecilia. So for those of you who've been following this series for a while, I've been putting out these the best videos, and uh, people have been really enjoying them, so I've got great feedback on them. The problem is I've been trying to put out videos on all the heroes that are coming in those banners. So I've been trying to show you guys like the best possible build, like really OP gear on some of these units. Today I want to do FCC and I happen to have FCC and she's plus 15, but she's on scuffed gear or what I would consider to be scuffed gear. So here's my FCC. She's currently on uh, adamant. We'll talk about that in a second, but she doesn't have great gear. She's a 234 speed, which is quite good. But her other stats aren't very good. She's somewhat squishy for an FCC, to be completely honest. Uh, I never use her. I use her in my arena auto comps, and that's it. I rarely use her in RTA, and when I do, I'm just using her as counter cleave. And she either gets banned, pre-banned, or she's just there to put up her shield at the start of the fight, and we win anyway, so... Uh, her gear doesn't really matter all that much for me. Uh, but what I'm going to do today, I asked a bunch of people in the Discord for their builds, and I had a whole bunch of people show me their FCCs, and I really appreciate everyone that did show me their FCC. But what we're going to do instead is I'm going to completely re-gear her. If you watch the Landy video, was it the Landy one? I think it was the DN one. If you watch the DN one, uh, I went through and I re-geared my DN just to show you kind of what she would look like and what my gearing process looks like. So I'm going to kind of treat this like I'm account reviewing myself. And I wanted to make the best possible Fallen Cecilia that I could. So we're going to start from scratch. Pretend like this is not what we're looking for. Uh, we will do want speed and we do want immunity. So let's check those off right away and we'll see what we've got so we're looking for basically we want her as tanky as possible so we're going to start off with just the most hp we can find and then we're going to try and find ones with defense on them as well and speed if possible i'm not overly worried about effectiveness i'm not overly worried about res but we'll see what happens this piece has 9 speed and 34 HP. We can't get defense on this one, so that's a good option. Uh, 8 speed, 33 HP. I feel like we're probably going to end up using one of these pieces from Hellraid, because for most of you, they're probably your best weapons, to be completely honest. This is a good option, too. We could go res. Uh, I don't really care too much about res. I don't think we're going to have enough res to go around. We could put her on a res build, but honestly, why? If you're worried that much about debuffs, then you're probably bringing cleansers anyway. So let's plop that on him. Up next, uh, speed HP defense. It's a nice piece, 34% HP. Speed HP, but no defense. Speed HP res, no defense. Speed HP, yeah, most of these have no defense on them. We could sort by defense, but I kind of want to see the ones. You know what? Let's let's just put defense on there and see what happens. Right, so this one still pops up as the best one. That one has no speed on it. This one's kind of nice though, and it's immunity. Uh, less max HP, but more defense. Way more defense. Let's actually go with that one because we're going to be short on immunity gear. I don't mind a little bit of added crit rate here. Well, this one has only two speed. I'd probably consider using that. This one's really nice. Uh, if it was on my account, I wouldn't steal it. But <laughs> I like I like my maid Chloe the way she is, and I do use her regularly. Regularly, for those that are wondering. Uh, but speed HP defense this is a great piece for her. So let's put that on her. And then we're going to have to change this. So let's take that off. Let's take that off. 
We are going to go HP main for the neck and the ring because her shield is based off of HP. So we're going to go HP main, we're going to go defense, and we're going to go speed subs. So we don't want her to be too slow. This is sorting by the most defense. So this is decent speed with 22 defense on it. Strange that it's on my SSB, but okay. Uh, four speed with 18 defense. 14 speed with crit rate and effectiveness in defense. We already have immunity though, so I don't think we're gonna use that one, but it's a nice piece. This one too has some added effectiveness. We don't really need effectiveness, but if we happen to get it, it's kind of a nice bonus. Uh, because we've already got immunity, let's actually take that one. A little added effectiveness for her S1 provoke is never a bad thing. We can actually, because I really like those two immunity pieces, so we can take off the immunity set. And yeah, we got, so we have HP with defense and speed. 21 defense on this one with high crit rate. Kind of nice. We might come back to that one. This one has more effectiveness. So if we want to keep going the effectiveness build, we could do that. This one's more on damage. I kind of like that piece too. Uh, if you were going bruiser, we could do that. More speed. Crazy res. We're not really going the res route though. Let's actually come back to this piece because I'm torn between a couple of these. So let's see what kind of speed pieces we have. Switch that to HP, this to defense. I wouldn't mind finding another piece with crit rate on it, to be completely honest. This piece is really nice. Uh, speed, HP, defense, and crit rate. So let's go with that. And uh, let's come back here. We'll go HP main. So the finish is at 70% crit rate, which is kind of nice. I So... This is probably right up there with as good of an FCC as you're going to find. If we take a quick look through the gear, uh, crit rate, HP, defense, effectiveness. This one has high crit rate, but it also has high defense. We could go speed on this. We don't really need anything else, though, other than speed, depending on how you're speed tuning. So the 21 defense is beautiful. It just happens to have 21 crit on it. Uh, this one, perfect piece. Crit rate, defense, speed, effectiveness. Speed, crit rate, HP, defense, huge subs. Speed, crit rate, HP, defense, huge subs again. And speed, crit rate, HP. So this is right up there. If you use FCC a lot, this is pro the stats on the right is probably what you're looking for. This is absolutely beautiful. 1,700 defense, 27,000 HP. Again, you could easily go 30k HP. Uh, if we put our tankiest pieces on this, you go 30k HP, but then you'd be lacking defense um, or you'd be lacking speed. We've got this on speed immunity. She's still 211 speed, which is quite nice considering we weren't focusing speed at all. And is going to be able to land some debuffs with 48 effectiveness. And on top of that, she's going to pack a punch at 27k HP. That 70 crit rate, when she crits on units, she's going to do a load of damage. And especially really late in fights, um, she's going to be able to kill some things that you wouldn't expect her to be able to kill. So those are that's probably the go-to that I would do. Uh, I do know people that run her on a crit damage neck. I really don't like crit damage neck. I think it's a terrible build for her. Her damage goes up very minimally with a crit damage deck. You're better off, if you want her to be bruiser, you're better off going HP neck just with crit rate subs. You can even go crit rate and crit damage subs if you really want to. But you're better off going HP here. You're kind of wasting her kit if you go crit damage unless you have like a very specific, you're just trying to like catch people off guard and that's it. But in that case, I hope you have two FCCs because she's you're kind of wasting her kit, to be completely honest. Uh, really, speed HP HP is the only build. 
and speed set is the only build, and immunity is the only offset. Um, in terms of artifacts, you do have a little more flexibility, though. So if you want this, take your screenshot or just pause the video. We're going to go back and take a look at the artifacts. So currently, I have mine on Adamant Shield. Most people run their FCC on Aureus. I don't because I very rarely run her. My my When I do run her, I'm pairing her with Fire Cecilia. I run Fire Cecilia primarily, and my Fire Cecilia is on Aureus. The most important thing for RTA especially is going to be having an Aureus on your team. So for me, because I already have the Fire Cecilia, FCC for me has to be on Adamant. So that's the only reason I have mine on Adamant. For you, probably better off on Aureus, again, unless there's a specific reason. But uh, the, the only other option I can think of that would be even decent on her uh, is really just Elbrus. But realistically, she's a meat shield, right? You're bringing her in to be a meat shield. You're bringing her in for her passive, which provides barriers uh, based on her HP. So you want her to be really tanky. You want her to be providing big barriers, and you want her to reduce as much incoming damage as possible, hence either Aureus or Adamant. I really think those are the only options for her. I hope you guys like the style of this video. Uh, let me know that down in the comment section below if you like it, if I just kind of makeshift the unit on the go like that. I think it's kind of fun and show you guys shows you guys at least uh, kind of how I gear my stuff. We don't have to do it all the time, but especially units that I don't already have geared with top 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 gear i think that's probably the way to go uh let me know if you can make a better fcc fcc than that and that's gonna be it for today guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe we're getting really close to 3500 subscribers on the channel so thank you so much i really appreciate the support uh now i have to go record the last video in this in this batch and yeah have a good night and we'll see y'all next time thanks for watching